It's mid-October. Canada should be getting a little bit chilly right now. Um, but if you're not in Canada, lucky for you, you could have whatever weather you like. Kind of. A little update on where I am. I'm sitting on a picnic table in a university in Taiwan, currently surrounded by trees and squirrels. I have never seen so many squirrels in my life clustered in one place, to the point that I'm terrified. And I have to look back every five seconds to make sure that they're not planning a social movement against me. There goes one of the protesters, throwing an acorn. Now this video is not about vicious squirrels planning social movements, but if you're interested in social movements, there's a great course by Dr. Hart. You can register anytime on Brightspace. It's actually really interesting. Now back to the point. This video is about what students have found helpful in succeeding online classes so far. So there will be about five-ish students sharing their tips on mental health, um, studying tips, um, just how they manage their time, their exercise, and all. Um, hopefully you can absorb some of these into your daily life. And so, let's get into the video. The first student we have is Nicole. She also goes by Nikki. She's a second year forensic student here at St. Mary's. And from briefly stalking her Instagram, I gather that she's a bookworm and she has good ears for music. She outlined three tips. So let's see what she has to say. Hi, so one of the things that I do to stay successful in online school is I write a to-do list. Over the weekend, I look through all of my courses, see what needs to be done for the week. I write them down on a sticky note and post them on my wall right next to me. That way it's right in the edge of my vision and I can always just slightly turn and see everything that I need to do for the week. And then once I'm done, I can cross it off and I know I won't have to worry about missing any quizzes or assignments that way. Another thing I do is I try and eat before class so that way I won't get distracted by how hungry I am during class. And another thing is I put my phone face down to avoid any distractions because notifications can really distract me during online class when it's easier to just look at your phone than to listen to the class. So this way it will help me avoid getting distracted from class. Next, we got Martha. She's a biology student and similar to Nikki, she too plays music. You'll find that she organizes her weekly to-dos online, and she fixes a snack before long lectures. Oh, and a side note, you know the game I spy with my little eye? Let's play around and see if we can spot a horse doodle on her notes. When it comes to studying, I certainly don't have the most glamorous approach. Um, I used to try really hard to make all my notes and all my systems really pretty, but these days I just don't have the time. So. Instead, when the semester started, I made a Trello and put everything in there, and at the beginning of each week, I look at what's in there, and I plan my week accordingly. And then whenever I'm done something, I just plop it on over into the finish section, and that way I know it's done. When it comes to actually studying, I like to make sure that I have everything I need already, so I get a drink. I make some tea, I get a snack, and then I make sure I'm all ready to go for when the lecture starts. When it comes to notes, I just scribble things down and try to get it done super quickly. Did you see the horse sketch? Not going to lie, it's a great way to stay semi-focused in class. Next, we have Madeline. Fun fact about her is she's a vegan. I fully support that. I'm not sure if it's reasons for health, the animals, or for the planet, but that's something you can ask her. Let's listen to our tips. Here are a few tips that have helped me during online school. So the first thing is to take a break when you can. If you're able to step away from your screen for even 10 minutes, uh, your eyes will thank you. You'll feel a lot more refreshed. So if you can go outside, go for a walk, maybe read a book, it really will help make the day go by. A second thing is to get dressed when you wake up. So I know it can be hard to want to get out of your PJs, but trust me, you will feel so much more productive if you do get dressed and ready for the day. Lastly, try to join a group chat if you can. So this helps you connect with the people in your class. You can ask each other questions, get clarification on things, and you'll feel more connected to each other. You can make each other laugh. It really does help the school year go by and you might meet some new friends. Last but not least, we have Emily. 
She kind of echoes and summarizes all the important points everyone mentioned and really driven down the point of getting some air outside every day. Let's let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Emily and I'm a third year student at St. Mary's studying environmental studies and minoring in geography. There are two things that I have found quite helpful for staying on track and productive this semester while doing studies online. The first thing I recommend sounds really simple in theory, but in practice can become difficult if we don't make time for it, and that's to go outside. I recommend each day taking at least 10 minutes to step outside and disconnect from your computer and even your phone so that when you come back inside, you feel refreshed and you're ultimately more productive as you carry on with your task for the day. The second thing that I recommend and find helpful is to make note of any big upcoming events or assignments on a notepad or a whiteboard that's displayed on your fridge so that each morning when you get up, you see these things, you have them in your mind and you make sure to work towards them as the week goes on and you don't forget them and you stay on track. something useful in that video. Um, if you did, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to relocate because the squirrels are a little bit scary. So I'll see you in the next video on December 1st. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have any other ideas on what you want the journal to cover, either in a video or in an article. Message me directly at sarah.ccz on Instagram or message the journal at the SMU Journal. Yeah, the SMU Journal. Not easy. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!